Hey y'all, so quick video. I just wanted to get your input on uh, on some of that. I've been messing around with my the wallet making. I've got a couple different uh, designs, a couple different styles, and uh, get, get y'all to weigh in on which one you like the best. Um, still working with uh, the cow hide and deer hide, but trying to get ready and, and uh, trying to kind of perfect that a little bit so that I can transition into my, my, uh, my fur hides. Um, so I was gonna show you my uh, the, the wallets that I made, the, I got three different kind of styles and see which would be the, the, the preferred overall. And then that's what I'll go off of to make my initial couple of, uh, couple of rounds of stuff with my, with my fur hide. So um, leave a comment below on which, which style you like. And uh, out of all the comments as a thank you, I'll pick, uh, randomly pick a winner and give you uh, one of the one of these deer hide wallets that I made that I think have, have turned out pretty good. I still definitely got plenty of, of room to learn with the uh, with uh, the whole leather work, but uh, I think these are turning out good. So I'm anxious to get y'all's thoughts. If you're a leather worker or just if you see something that you think could be improved, should be improved, um, let me know because I'm 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 learning this and I'm trying to take in as much as I can and make as, as nice of a product as I can. So let me show you what I got. So these are the three kinds uh, styles of wallets that I've made so far. The first is a, uh, a vertical wallet. So it's got um, two card holder slots here on each side and then also two slots um, or two pockets underneath. So it's kind of could potentially be a front pocket wallet. Um, it's it's still a little bit big, um, but what you'll you know like a all of the the pockets and the outside is is deer hide deer leather, but uh, I used cow leather veg tan cow leather for the uh, these kind of middle pieces to give it some structure and give it some rigidity. And I actually stretched. I don't know yet. I don't know how well it's going to work. I'm still trying to figure out because the the deer leather it needs i feel like it needs to be stretched a little bit or else it's going to be too loose and these may be overstretched a little bit i don't know but they're they're pretty tight um they should loosen as as they get used some so uh anyway that's the that's the first the first style of wallet that i've got there is just a uh a two uh give you an idea of size but a, a vertical wallet then i've got a kind of the more traditional bifold wallet um with the with the money slot and then again you can see this um, all the the back and then the pockets are deer leather and then this um, this in, inside section is cow leather veg tan cow leather um, and it's also got two card holder pockets on each side and then a little hidden pocket um, underneath each so more like a traditional style bifold billfold uh, and then I've got a little front pocket wallet this one looks a little rough because I actually I tried uh, dyeing the um, the deer hide to make it look see how it would take um, and I got a little bit of um, a little and I also I, I carried this one I wore this one for a little bit and carried it because uh, I've, I've kind of gotten to be a fan of the front pocket wallets um, so and you can see I didn't I didn't necessarily stretch these tight and you can see how the the deer leather I mean it's it's really loose so that's where I say um, and, and I, I'll, I'll make a brand new with this one uh, if the if the winner if they choose this one so but it's got just two card slots there and then a, a larger slot in the back money slot whatever you want to put there um, and one of my one of my big issues have, has been trying to finish the edges um, so what 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 is called burnishing um, which I feel like is what gives it a, you know a really nice quality appearance the, the trick is with this deer leather is so soft that I haven't had any luck with a traditional burnishing, um, but I've started. I've used edge paint. I, I saw a recommendation on using edge paint, um, and it, it gives you a firm edge, and it looks it looks a little bit nicer. So this actually, I didn't do anything. I probably should try to burnish the uh, the the veg tan leather on these before I put them together. But I just edge painted um, the deer leather, the deer hide, and I think that turned out. I think that that turns out good. It gives it the, a, a nice good look that I was going for so uh, like I said overall I've definitely got some room to improve and continue to improve and if you've got any pointers suggestions tips or ideas let me know um, but uh, I think you know that little two-tone color 
I think that, I think they look nice. So let me know your thoughts. And like I said, leave a leave a comment below which style you like, either the uh, the vertical, the front pocket, or the the uh, the bifold, the billfold, bifold, billfold. And uh, at the end, so I'll post this. This is Sunday. The let me check the date. This is Sunday the twelfth. So I'll post I'll post this tonight, and I'll run it till next Sunday. So midnight on whatever next Sunday is, the seventeenth, I guess is what that would be. No, I'm all off. Midnight the 19th. God, that's terrible math. Midnight the 19th, I will uh, take a take every all the all the people that left a comment and, and do a uh, a drawing then on um, a wallet to get, and then I'll show you kind of what I'm thinking. So here's my my box of my box of leather and then my my veg tan that I've been working off of my cowhide that I've been working off of uh, and so initially I haven't I haven't messed around with dyeing this any but that's my next step is to dye that a little bit uh, but I think I still think the two-tone is kind of a, a sharp look and so what I was thinking maybe is, is starting off using going with one of this beaver uh, pairing that up with this this uh, cow leather it's it's not a whole lot of difference it's pretty similar in color I'm really I'm really looking forward to, to messing with this I've got a a coon and a uh, beaver both in kind of that burgundy color and I'm wondering about the beaver because in in the in the back it's, it's pretty stiff in the back so I'm thinking that I might be able to pull off an entire wallet out of this I'll have to see um, have to see how much how much leather I can get out of it but anyway like I say um, let me a comment let me a comment let me know which uh which style you prefer and then uh i'll pick a i'll pick a winner next sunday and and send you a wallet hopefully it's everything you ever dreamed for and more so i appreciate y'all watching i appreciate your comments and uh i'm looking forward to this new project and, and seeing how it goes